that dua is seeking forgiveness of Allah. It's the proper way of asking Allah's forgiveness. It was taught to Adam alayhi salam by Allah. It was repeated by Adam alayhi salam. Allah forgave him as a result, but he was sincere, there was remorse, and he did, he did not do it again. Do we ever get a narration that says, Astaghfirullah, it's not there, but I'm just saying for argument's sake, that Adam alayhi salam went back to the tree, said, hang on, it was so tasty, let me go back and have some more. Never, never. It happened once, it never happened again. May Allah strengthen us. I want to give you good news. The good news is that we as human beings sometimes go back to the same sin that we've sought forgiveness from genuinely. What happens then? Well, if you sought forgiveness genuinely and you were really asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you really regretted it and you really promised Allah you're not going to do it again, then that tawbah or that seeking of forgiveness was accepted and Allah forgave you and your sin was wiped out completely and when you committed it again later on without having planned it at the time that you sought forgiveness previously, Allah will consider that a totally separate deed. It's not something connected to the previous sin, even though it was a repetition. That's the mercy of Allah. So keep asking forgiveness again and again and again. No matter how many times you end up committing that sin, every time it will be considered and looked at as something totally separate from the previous one because the previous one was totally wiped out. You regretted it. You asked Allah's forgiveness. You promised not to do it again. Allah wiped the sin out and there we go. What great mercy of Allah. So my brothers and sisters, you see the supplication that we have for today? is the supplication of Adam alayhi salam and Hawa alayhi salatu was salam. These were our forefathers, the first of our species. They also faltered. Don't lose hope when you falter. Many people ask me a question. You know, I think I've committed so many sins. I think I'm beyond repair. You're not beyond repair. I think I've, I've done so much. I'm an evil person. You're not an evil person. The fact that there is a a flicker of that candle within and you want to come out, that's enough. You need to come out. You need to seek Allah's forgiveness. He will wipe out no matter what you've done. The most powerful dua you could have after ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem is to seek the forgiveness of Allah. Oh Allah, forgive me for the sins I've committed, those which I know, those which I don't know, and those that were major, those that were minor. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all. So I'd like to repeat this dua. ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين. O oh, our Rabb, we have wronged ourselves. And if you don't forgive us and if you don't have mercy upon us, we will be the ones who will definitely be the losers. Subhanallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we forgave Adam alayhi salatu was salam. As a result, the consequence was he had to come onto earth. But the good thing is all his offspring, including you and I, were taught how to seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine to this day, we are taught how to seek the forgiveness of Allah. Had it not been for that act of Adam alayhi salam, we would never have known how to seek the forgiveness of Allah. Or perhaps there would have been someone else who would have come. And this is the, the, the way of Allah. Allah knows we are human and Allah wanted to forgive us. Like Allah says in the Quran, Allah definitely wants to forgive you. But it's shaitan who wants us to go astray. So we definitely would like to uh, continue uh, calling out to Allah. You know when it comes to the messengers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Anbiya says, Innahum they used to do a lot of good deeds. And they used to call out to us, hoping and being fearful. Inshallah, tomorrow or in the next episode, we will be getting to uh, the meaning of uh, this verse that I just uh, mentioned right now at the end of this episode. But in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope we take lessons from today.